Hello YouTubers, Toby Till here with Rocky Mountain Snow MX. We are here to provide you with all of your snow bike related technical videos and also any parts or accessories you may need for your snow bike. Feel free to give us a call. 720-263-7533. Hello YouTubers, Toby Till here with Rocky Mountain Snow MX. We are here today to go over Yeti chain tension. Uh, this is the same thing all the way from 16 through 2021 now. Um, super simple. What you want to look at when you're looking at the bike and you look at chain tension, the chain tensioner, which is this black piece right here, right above the chain, when it starts to deflect the chain so that you can actually see a downward loop in the chain, see the picture up here uh, that I'm going to be putting up, you can see that downward loop in the chain. You know it's time to tighten your chain just by a real quick visual. Also, just by moving the chain, you know if it's tight or not. So when you go to tighten your chain, um, you need to do a couple things. First thing that you wanna do is you wanna take the black tensioner, push it up and in, and it will actually sit on the rib of the frame mount bracket when you're tightening the chain. It's a super nice way to be able to get the tension off of the chain so you're not artificially tensioning the chain with the tensioner. So just move it up and in, and it'll hold itself right there. Then what I do is I will take two long ratchets with 12 millimeters on them. I will set them on either side of the kit on the eccentric bolts. Now, before you do all this, you do need to loosen the three bolts on each side, and the eccentric nut. So, first bolt is the soft stuck bolt. Second bolt is the slide adjuster. Third bolt, the bottom jam nut. Same thing on the other side. One, two, three. And then once you have those loosened up, then you can loosen the eccentric jam nut. Okay, now you've got six bolts, one jam nut all loosened up. I take these two long ratchets that I have here, set them on both sides of the kit at a 45 degree angle. Now remember, you never tighten up the eccentric bolt of the chain just from one side. You always do it to from each side simultaneously and you can't put a lot of pressure on it. So if you go to tighten the chain and you put more than 25 newton meters of pressure on these ratchets, you will break off the eccentric bolt or round it off or have really bad outcomes. So never a lot of tension on these. If you go to tension it and it doesn't move with a very light pressure, Get one of your friends back here on the tail. You don't need to pick it up. You don't need to do anything, but you, what you do need to do is twist it. So sometimes there gets to be a burr on the eccentric and it won't move easily. So all you gotta do is just have a friend twist the back tail of the Yeti while you're putting a little pressure on it and it'll go ahead and move. Now, here's the other thing. You never, do this in the air. So you always make sure that you have your bike on the ground and you're not tensioning or trying to move the eccentric without it sitting on the ground on the free wheels. So set the bike on the ground on the free wheels, try to move it. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to move ever so slightly. Now you see, I went from a loose chain to a tight chain in just a couple degrees of these ratchets. This thing doesn't move very much. So what I'm doing now, is I'm holding the, <coughs> the eccentric bolt with my other ratchet on the other side while everything's in place. Now, I'm just gonna simply tighten up the eccentric holding nut on this side. Then, I can let up my pressure and truly set my torques. Center eccentric bolt is set to 60 newton meters, sorry, 61 newton meters. 
That nut's now set to 61. Now we're going to go and tighten up the other six bolts. The bottom bolt of the soft strut, which is this top one, that one's set to 41 newton meters. Now I didn't show you guys, but when I thought I had the chain tight, I can reach down here and I can move the chain. You want it fairly tight compared to a dirt bike, fairly tight. So, um, I should have showed you guys that while I was holding the tension before I started torquing, but I could feel it move. I knew how far it needed to move, so I knew it was tight. These side bolts now, the other five bolts on the bottom of the kit, these are 25 foot pound, or sorry, 25 newton meter bolts that you're going to tighten up. And if you forget to move this black piece off, no big deal. It will move just as soon as you start rotating the bike. tightening any Yeti chain during your periodic maintenance. As far as lubrication of the chain, I lubricate my chain every time I go ride. So when I pull my bike out of the trailer before I go ride, I get my lube, lube up the chain. Uh, I would recommend ever use chain lube. It just makes it last a little longer. Usually, I'll go once I break in a new chain. So, you know, every ride, every two rides, when a chain's new, I'll be tightening it up. Then once it gets broken, I'll go four or five rides without it loosening up. Then I'll start watching if I have a loose chain every ride, it's time to replace the chain. That's your telltale. So if you get done with a ride for a day and your chain loosens up in that day, tighten it up. And if you do that four or five times in a row, your chain is almost done and you need to replace it. So that's kind of your telltale when you're tightening up your chain every single ride for five rides in a row, you're gonna need to get a new chain. Give me a call. I got some great upgraded chains for the Yeti. Once again, Toby Till here with Rocky Mountain Snow MX. I hope you enjoy my videos.